so today we're working from the shop doing boat stuff but in the shop uh, actually we're making panels a couple thin wood panels for the uh, dining area had like a booth style dining and this access panel pulls off the top under the cushion to give access for storage under the seat but it's old and it's coming apart and it doesn't really provide support and sag so every time you sit in the center uh, spot where this access panel is it kind of just sags and feels like you're going to fall through the structure there is fine but it's just this door um, it's actually you can't I don't have the old pieces but it was probably twice as thick as that so uh, and I was going to use this for the top veneer piece but it's old and you know I mean cushions do go on it but I just wanted to make new ones so we're doing that here I'm gluing a couple pieces together where the uh, grain is going in different directions on two pieces then I'll sand the edges drill the hole stay in the top get it to match close uh, it's not too critical because it does go under a cushion and these are the templates that I used uh, or made I think it's just PVC strips that you can buy you use that in a hot glue gun instead of trying to get paper in an odd spot although this one was easy because it's just a flat panel that one over there is the ceiling of the closet and uh, it's it was difficult to get paper up in there and uh, butcher's paper up in there and try to trace it and whatnot I mean you can do it uh, but this method works a lot better so that was the template for that you can see this was the upside so cut strips glued it up in there cut another strip glued it up in there and then just began to start attaching the pieces in the ends and then you can trim it if you need to uh, this one in, in this case wasn't actually that critical so that's the panel from this template minus that lower corner I just don't need it. it's not that critical but the panel just has to sit over there or sit up it's gonna be screwed to the top of the ceiling and then there's gonna be some PVC skin that goes over that as well so that's just really a new piece of wood to make the structure stiffer a little firmer uh, hide some wiring and then uh, also to hold the PVC and one of those lights so these lights these two lights came out of the salon area and uh, I've already put new lights up there which I I like they're much brighter than these I don't know if you can see it in there but these had those I should take it apart and show you but these had these like automotive style replacement and they're very dim and the sockets on these let me see if I can look in here sockets on these get corroded over time and they're spring loaded but they just get corroded you can clean them and they'll work for a while of course but every time you tap the light or the boat would rock or whatever the lights were always changing brightness so that's not good so I'm getting rid of these things and I bought some uh, disc style new LED lights obviously they're made in China but they're very cheap and they're much much brighter so anyways I just cleaned this light up right here you can see this nice switch Let me... these are from the old boat manufacturer whatever they sourced these at in 1985 in Taiwan at the Tung shipyard a lot of this stuff on this boat is excellent, outstanding, um, including a lot of the old hardware. Uh, the th uh, 316 stainless hardware still survives. So this is what the light looked like when we took it down. It was always flickering, always dim, nasty old. And it looks like they're bronze or brass or whatever that, that is. Copper, whatever, whatever turns green. And with just a little bit of cleaning and polishing the whole thing with some never dull you know really really perfectly brings it back to life this thing's perfectly usable test the switch and then get it ready and all these two will go in the closet a little more progress at a time a lot of work all right got my little light discs in and we're just going to compare the brightness between the two this is the product from Amazon it was pretty cheap. I think it was, I don't remember, it was like $15 for five of them or $20 for five of them. And that's what they look like. Easy enough to wire up. It's got the little positive and negative sign down there. Those LEDs are directional. 
Uh, and that's the old one. And so that one's hooked up. Let's uh, turn this light out first here. Okay. So we'll power this up. Okay. Kind of get an idea. It's pretty darn dim. Uh, of course, this isn't like the best circumstances to see how bright this is. You know. Let's swap it over to the other. All right, got this one hooked up. And it's powered up. Whoa. Much, much brighter. So I wasn't sure if I was going to need to use. Can you really see it? If I was going to need to use two of those discs in that light, I think one is going to be plenty bright enough. should be plenty but it is way way brighter I mean you can see that it's actually a useful very useful light so works pretty good put those in there we'll put them in the boat or in the closet when it's done and see how good it works <laughs> Okay, here's the finished product. It's got the light tray in there. Switch is all cleaned up. The whole thing's all cleaned up. And it works great. Very bright. Much more usable. Obviously, it's very hard to tell in a shop with a camera. But it is much brighter. Alright.